Good afternoon. I'm John Schultz, the owner of the Lake Elmo Inn. Today we're going to talk about what to do with all your tomatoes. I have a garden and I tell you, I struggle to utilize all the tomatoes that are coming forward right now. But what I have for you here is some of the tomatoes that have come, these heirloom tomatoes that are coming out of your garden, they're, they're very unusual and you wonder if they're still good. Yes, they are. And then you have your store-bought tomatoes, Billy Boy, which are fantastic and absolutely no blemishes. And then you have a wide variety of the little ones, which could be roasted real hot over a grill, could be eaten that way, just whole. What I'm going to show you today is what I, lo I love to do with my tomatoes. And I'm probably the only place that does. I peel my tomatoes. I think it just adds so much quality to that dish. These tomatoes have a thicker skin than the store-bought ones. And when you bite into it, it, it tends to have a bite and it's just a little unusual. You might be used to that because that's the way everyone does it. But once you try it this way, I think you'll find a different story to be told about how great a tomato can be. So what you do is you take your tomato and you cut out the core. And you're just going to cut this out because it's going to come out one way or the other. And then I just do a little X on the, on the back side. And then from there, and I've already done that to these tomatoes, I'm going to put these in boiling water. And as you can see, my water is at a boil, and I think that's imperative. And I'm putting maybe too many tomatoes in at one time. So I'm going to put three in, and now I'm going to count maybe 10 to 15 seconds on these tomatoes. I do not want to cook them, but I want that skin to peel right off. And if the, t if the water is still boiling, I'm looking at the clock, so if the water is still boiling, you'll be able to tell by just when you take it and you pull them out and if you can peel that skin back like right there how easy that is and right into ice water because again you don't want the tomatoes to cook you just want them to release that skin for us then you put them in ice water and they cool down and then the magic is that the tomato skin just peels right off I should have, these gloves and peeling tomatoes is very difficult to do. Um, sorry for the dead, the dead sound here. We'll go to this big yellow one. And as you can see how I'm peeling. I had a customer once who I wanted to impress and we had a party that had grapes on her salad. I peeled every one of those grapes. My staff thought I was crazy, but it was just something I felt I needed to do because it added that quality, and I thought that she would know, and she did. She recognized it and thanked us for it because it was something that no one else is going to do. So they're beautiful tomatoes. You line them up on a plate. This is one of the simplest dinners that you could ever have. You have a little bit of onion. If you like onion with your tomatoes, and I do, I might throw a couple of sweet onions, and we did a segment on onions a little while ago. You take a little bit of fresh basil, and you chiffonade it, and chiffonade means you take it and you just cut it in very thin little strips so that you can get a little bit in every bite. And you sprinkle it over your salad. You take a little bit of high quality olive oil, and you drizzle that on your salad. Good one, John. Accidents do happen. I'm not perfect. So, and then a little bit of balsamic glaze. I'm a big fan of balsamic. A little kosher salt. And a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. And there you go. That could be a wonderful dinner. But I'll tell you what, that make, that's making my mouth water this morning. That's the insider tip. Thank you very much for watching.